Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you this um, lovely poncho. It's absolutely um, gorgeous and easy to crochet. It is crocheted from the top down, meaning we start at the neck edging and we are going to be crocheting in the rounds um, until the bottom and it also features a beautiful um, shell stitch edging at the bottom so I will be taking you through this tutorial step by step so yes in this video tutorial I will be demonstrating size S however this is a very inclusive pattern and it comes in sizes S to triple XL and yes so for this project I used a skein of Caron Latte Cakes so this is the shade I used which is shade Plum Fresh um, if you recall, I used um, Caron Latte Cakes in another shade for my Cozy Cardigan. I will be linking it right here and in the down bar too, because it was really popular when I released that tutorial. And I love Caron Latte Cakes. So this is shade Plum Fresh and it's a bulky 5 yarn. And I only used one skein. I also used a 6mm crochet hook, a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. And also the free pattern is as always on my blog selinaveronique.com. So as I said, I did, I will be making size S for the video. However, all the other sizes are on my blog and on my pattern. So just check the links out in the down bar. So um, the only difference will be um, the number of chains that we chain at the beginning and um, the number of rows, but it will be very easy to crochet any size that you prefer. I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets. I do hope you enjoy this tutorial. So I will be demonstrating size S. If you want to make a bigger size, just go ahead and check out my free pattern, um, which is on my blog. Um, the link is in the description box. So um, to begin, you are going to be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and make your slip knot, pop your hook through, and we are going to be chaining and um, joining the beginning and the end of our chain with a slip stitch to create a circle but I will be showing you right now a technique that will help you crochet and not twist your um, beginning chain if that makes sense to create the circle so we are going to be chaining 67 and slip stitching at um, at the end of the chain to create a circle. However, this technique will show you that I'm just going to demonstrate, will show you how to um, join the chain without twisting it very easily. So go ahead and chain. So we are going to chain 67 in total, but for the demonstration, I will be chaining six to begin with. So one, two, three, four, five, six and now that I have six chains I am going to take my hook out and pop it through the beginning of my chain so that very first chain that we did pop that through and then obviously without twisting the chain you are going to pop the last chain that we did on the hook and we are simply going to be carrying on and chaining 67 with this technique so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and just go ahead and chain 67 and I'll show you what to do once we've done that. Okay so I've chained 67 and what I am going to be doing is pulling that last chain through the first chain like so and this is what it looks like. And now we are going to be working in the rounds. So now um, that you've done that, 
we are going to be um, chaining three. One, two, and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. And it goes with this first um, chain here. So we are going to be going in the, to the next chain. So in the chain next to the one here that we've just worked in, we're going to go into that and create a double crochet. So to create a double crochet, just wrap your yarn around your hook, pop it through that chain, pull up a loop. I'm going to I'm going to try and zoom in, it might be neater because this is kind of a fluffy yarn. So yes, so you've got three loops on your hook, pull your yarn through two loops, pull your yarn through two loops and that's a double crochet. Now we are going to go into the next chain and place another double crochet into that. And then place another double crochet into the next chain. And into the next chain. And into the next chain. So just go ahead and place a double crochet into each and every chain until you reach the end, um, until you reach the beginning here, and then I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I'm back and I've practically finished. I am going to add my last double crochet in the last chain like so and making sure you've not twisted um, this part of the project you are going to be slip stitching to the top of the chain three um, from the beginning just to finish off this um, round and this is what you should have so now for round two we are going to be chaining three one two and three and we are um, going to be placing two more double crochets within that first um, so this counts as your first double crochet and we are go and it goes with on top of this double crochet from the previous row in and this stitch and we are going to be placing two more double crochets within that same stitch so that that creates three double crochets in one stitch so just go ahead and place two more double crochets in this stitch like this now you are going to be going into the next um, double um, into the next stitch and place just one double crochet on its own into that so just go ahead and place a double crochet into that and then go into the next double crochet and place just one double crochet into that. And then in the next double crochet, place three double crochets together. So just go ahead and place one, two, three double crochets in just one stitch. And now in the next stitch, place one double crochet and into the next stitch, one double crochet, and into the next stitch, three double crochets. And you'll have guessed that um, we will be placing three double crochets, then one double crochet twice, and then three double crochets into one stitch, then one double crochet, one double crochet, three double crochets, one double crochet, one double crochet, three double crochets. So alternate this pattern until you reach the beginning of this round and then I'll show you what to do to finish off this round. So I've almost finished this row. I've just placed um, three double crochets together in one stitch. I need one double crochet in the next stitch. And another double crochet in the next stitch to finish off this row. And so once, um, so to finish off this row, we are simply going to be slip stitching through that chain three from the previous row like this. 
And this finishes off this round. So now for round um, three, we are going to be chaining three. One, two and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. And we are going to be going into the next stitch and placing a double crochet into that. So just go into the next stitch and place a double crochet into that. And go into the next stitch and place a double crochet into that. And into the next stitch. And so we are simply going to be placing a double crochet on its own into um, this stitch. Into each stitch, sorry. So so just go ahead and place a double crochet into each stitch until the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do next. So I've almost finished this row. As you can see, I've placed my last double crochet and I am going to slip stitch through the chain three from the previous row. This is what this looks like for now and what we are going to be doing from now on is repeating row three. So what we are going to be doing now is repeating row three which is um, what I've just showed you which is chain three, one, two, three and this counts as a double crochet and just go ahead and place a double crochet into each and every stitch along until you reach the end of the row well round end of the round and then once you reach the end of the round you will be slip stitching to um, to the chain three and so just go ahead and repeat this row okay so I'm back and I've completed um, the number of rows that I needed so I'm gonna tell you how much how many rows you need in total so in total, for size S, I have 25 rows. So, so just go ahead and um, repeat row three until you have 25 rows total for size S. And for the other sizes, um, the number of rows you need will be on my blog and the pattern, of course. So just go ahead and repeat um, the row that I just showed you until you have 25 rows in total. And once you have 25 rows, I'm now gonna show you how to finish off this project and create um, the shell stitch border. Okay, so for the shell stitch border, obviously I've not fastened off. We're just gonna carry on where we left off. So I've slip stitched um, through um, this stitch and this is the last stitch of row 25. And now for um, this part of the project, we will be making uh, my um, shell stitch, well, the shell stitch border. So just go ahead and chain three, one, two and three. So now that you've um, chained three you are going to be popping four more double crochets inside that same stitch so that you have five double crochets total. So just go ahead and place four more double crochets inside this um, stitch. So here we go, so one, two, three, four, five. So now that we have five stitches here, we are going to skip one and two and go into the third stitch here and place a single crochet into that. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into that stitch like so. And now we are going to be skipping one and two and going into the third stitch once again and placing five double crochets in that stitch. Two, three, four and five. And skip one and two and go into the next in the third and place a single crochet 
Now skip one and two and go into the third and place five double crochets. And this is the pattern um, for this part. Just place five double crochets, skip two stitches, single crochet, and then skip two stitches, five double crochets, and so on. So we've created five double crochets. Now skip one and two and go into the third with a single crochet and skip two stitches, one and two, and go into the third. So just carry on doing this, and this creates our beautiful shell stitch um, at the bottom. So just carry on doing this until you reach um, the end of this um, round. So I will be finishing, I will be coming back to you when I reach about this point, just to show you how to finish off this round. Okay, so I've almost finished, so I've placed um, a single crochet here, we are going to skip one and two and go into the third um, stitch and place five double crochets into this, two, three, four, And five. And now we are going to skip one and two and go into um, this first stitch here. And we are going to be placing a single crochet like so. And this is um, the last stitch. Okay, so once you've done your single crochet, you will be fastening off. So I'm just taking my scissors, fasten off and leave a long tail for sewing. So just sew in your loose end after this. And now I'm just going to show you, and this is our um, bottom border, which looks absolutely stunning. And so now I'm just going to show you the collar. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you the top of the project. So this is the top, so this is the neck here, the neck edging. Okay, so for this part of the project I have already tied my, um, my yarn to the top of the project. So that's the neck edging. Just pop your hook through so you can choose any stitch. So now that you've attached your yarn, you are going to be um, chaining one to begin with and then you are going to be placing a single crochet into every stitch across um, this neck edging and I am going to be um, tidying up my loose ends as I go. So just go ahead and place a single crochet into each and every stitch across and uh, go all the way around the neck edging and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish off this part. Okay, so I've gone all around the um, neck edging and I'm simply going to slip stitch through the first chain one that we had made. So slip stitch through that and simply now fasten off like this and pull through that loop. And that's it, we finished not only um, the neck edging but also the whole project. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for this beautiful and fluffy easy poncho. It's really easy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for a new crochet tutorial every week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.